trick here is just finding the right kind of bottom. Um, you know, the, the fish are very bottom related, or bottom composition related, smallmouth are. And this lake is hard because it's got a little tannic color, so you can't go with your polarized glasses and see the drop-offs and the rocks and the grass beds and the things like that very well. It's very hard to do that, and especially today with slick conditions and, um, and no wind. It made it the glare even that much more, so it made it uh, hard to do. So you actually had to just fish through areas um, to find the right kind of bottom. And, and once you did, I mean, these fish are ready to bite. There's a ton of fish in this lake, and, and they're very aggressive. So even under these conditions, it was it was a lot of fun today. What uh, what was the bottom composition that you needed to find? Um, you know what I really needed to do was find um, chunk rock um, or glacial type rock on the bottom, and then find some scattered weeds to it. So where, if, if it was like a little bit of rock and it would meet a little bit of weeds, especially cabbage, those fish would be just all over it. If it was just clean rock, there was one every now and then, but where I found groups of them was close to where there was rocks and weeds together. Did you find multiple areas like that throughout the lake? Yeah, you know, I had three or four spots that just had a pretty good school of fish on that I was able to, you know, catch you know a handful six eight ten in a row on uh, throughout the day so uh, it made it you know it, it made it fun you know it was a, it was pretty exciting early on you know I knew that with the number of fish in this lake that anybody could make a big run on it but you know once I you know got through that second period I, I felt pretty comfortable about what I was doing and then actually even spent a lot of my time just experimenting um, and looking for other patterns other areas that uh, you know I might be able to carry on into the next round. Is that the kind of thing where you you fish a bottom bait to find the composition and then and then you start doing other things to try to trigger bites? Is that the way you did it? I, I was I was looking for the okay. bottom. <laughs> you could see the rocks. I could, then. I could see. I'd, I'd wait till I could get over them and, and see what I was you know looking for. So uh, and and I could run you know with the with the boat on plane and and kind of uh, and see if it had the potential you know the, to have the right type of flats and, and trans you know transitions to it so you know that's one of the things for smallmouth is if you can find areas where um, steeper breaks transition into a flat that's just a magic area all the time for them so you know that's that was the beginning of figuring that pattern out and then I was even even on just the flattest areas out there if it had rocks and weeds together you, there were smallmouth there. What were your best producers? Um, I caught you know, the majority of my fish today on a Straight King KVD jerkbait, um, a 300 series, three hook version uh, in IU color, and, and a green pumpkin, just a three and a half inch KVD, you know, coffee tube from Strike King with a 316 ounce head. I, I caught a lot of fish on that also. Mm -hmm.